Yeah. What do we have today? We have a special unboxing for you all here on the SMT. Appreciate you guys for coming in to watch this video. And I hope you enjoyed that first intro part. And we've got a gift from Google. Hashtag Team Pixel. Got the knife to do the unboxing. Alright, so you know how we do. We get the most exaggerated, ginormous knife you can get. Just to tear off a little bit of tape. Why not? Anyways, we have us a phone that's being sent to us from Google. Uh, big shout out to the team over there, uh, made by Google Devices, and uh, I've been reviewing these for a while, and I enjoy them very much. I love the Google phones. You guys know, anybody who's been around the channel for a while knows that I like these as my daily drivers, so meet the Pixel 6a. And this device came in this box. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the retail box. I don't think it is, uh, but this is what they do when they send things out to like Team Pixel members. All right, let's get this thing open, and I'm greeted by this whole, like, QR code thing. You know, how to do unboxing. You can record and stuff. Anyways, I do my own thing. You know me. I'm a loner bear. So uh, they did give me this um, this little ticket here, and it's like, you know, how the Pixel A can do certain things. Uh, these QR codes are designed to allow you to kind of see and experience the features, you know, all the different things that the phone can do. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that for now as we finish the unboxing. There is the device sitting in the middle of the box, and it is the Google Pixel 6a. It's crazy that we're now six generations in, and I've had pretty much every device, every Google phone that they've made. Even before they were Google phones, I had the Nexus line, you know, it's from the OG uh, all the way through now. So here is the Pixel 6a and all of its glory in that box. All right, you'll see all the different edges of the box and all the branding that comes on it. And you will see that the model is the 6A. And the important thing to note here is the color they sent me, which I really, really like. It's the sage color. It's really cool. I like it. Now, one thing I noticed there in the literature there on the box, it indicated that this is not a millimeter wave variant. So if you buy the unlocked version through Google, it is going to be sub 6 gigahertz 5G only. And of course, uh, that may matter to some of you. If you're a Verizon customer, you're in like a millimeter wave market. It's quite possible. It may matter to you. So in that instance, I would buy that model. Uh, if you could care less, maybe it's not available in your market. No plans on it coming soon to you. I would say pass. Save the 50 bucks. This phone is going to be 449. The millimeter wave tax is 59, uh, 499, extra 50 bucks. So here's the phone. Uh, there it comes with those couple of accessories there. Advertising the Tensor chip. All right, you get your charge cable, you get your adapter, and that's pretty much it. No charging brick in there, just to let you guys know. And then you get your phone, and you got your SIM card tray on the left, you got your on-display fingerprint scanner, you got your USB-C port at the bottom, your volume rocker up down, and then your power button. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? The buttons themselves are actually kind of smooth, they're not really tactile. Uh, the phone itself, it's, it's much lighter than the Pixel 6 Pro. Kind of plasticky feeling on the back, hard plastic at the top. Uh, feels like a more hollow, softer plastic on the bottom. The rear camera has glass covering it. Uh, and then you've got your Gorilla Glass on the front there. Uh, there's the USB-C port at the bottom. You do have speakers firing at the bottom as well. I'm not sure. It looks like there's also a speaker at the top. All right, earpiece. Uh, but I like the color. I like the design. There are some external antennas. Two of them at the top of the phone. There's also some on the side. All right, so if you guys were to look at that, uh, you'll notice it. There's two antennas on each side. There's two antennas at the top and then an antenna at the bottom. Um, but overall, the phone actually feels kind of nice. It's it's kind of skinny. 
uh, compared to, say, for example, the Google Pixel 6 Pro that I have. It is a much more manageable size phone. Uh, feels feels good to hold a smaller phone <laughs> once in a while because all the phones I have are on the larger side. I've got the Pixel 6 Pro, I have the 13 Pro Max, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and then the iPhone 13. So this more reminiscent of, like, I guess the iPhone 13 Pro size, perhaps. Uh, let's get this thing powered on. I hope it's got some juice, and it does. There you go. Uh, and we're going to wait for that to start up, and I can just kind of show you guys what the screen looks like there with the branding and the logo. These phones boot up fast. Android does a pretty nice job of, you know, getting the devices restarted and powered up pretty quickly. Shout out to Google for charging this thing before they send it out. Appreciate that. Um, you've got the punch hole camera at the top. You've got two sensors on the back, two camera sensors with a flash. And that's all I could really see from there. There's like noise canceling speaker uh, microphone at the top. And I think, um, I think it's pretty much it externally. The metal rails on the outside on the edges. All right, gives it kind of like a more uh, durable uh, feel. I think this one's, I might like this phone for one thing more than the Pixel 6 Pro. And it might be the flat display. Curved edges on and those displays, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan. So I might like that about this phone over my Pixel 6 Pro. But there's a lot of stuff that's missing from this phone. It's not perfect. You do get 6 gig of RAM. It's a 6.1 inch OLED display. Uh, it's, it's probably going to have a good camera for photography. We'll test the video and everything. I'm definitely going to put it through its its paces. I think it's got a 4400 milliamp hour battery, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look back at the specs. Uh, but this is not going to be a specs phone. This is going to be an experience phone. And in my estimation, Google phones are experience phones. It's not about the specs. You want power. You want specs. There are devices for that that are probably double the price of this. You know, but this is supposed to be the entry level point into a Google experience, which in my estimation is a great addition uh, or rendition of Android. I love the lifestyle features that they have. I love the cameras. I'm looking at, I'm interested to see what it does different, you know, uh, compared to the last generation, comparing it to the 5A. And we'll see if it stacks up. I'm going to test the cellular. I'm going to test the battery life. Obviously, I'm going to watch content on it, record content, the microphones, the speakers, the whole shebang. Uh, but I want to know from you guys, which network do you want me to test with this first? T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T? Comment down below what you guys want to see. Uh, more coverage coming up. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to miss an upload. Links in the description for all that's going on with the channel. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next